Hey guys, this is Mark. Uh, today what I'm going to do is show you guys how I'm going to repot this orchid here. Uh, I, I went to the local store, to the cell section, and I uh, seen this. Um, not really beautiful because it's missing a tip, uh, but <clears throat> it was uh, it was on a great sales. And I said, why not? You know, leaves are very healthy. Uh, the same thing, root system looks very nice and green. Uh, you know, the only problem, uh, this one is in the... Uh, peat and you know from my prior experience you know every time I purchase orchid it pretty much dies right away um, you know just because we can control the conditions that the nursery are able to do and is you know in some cases it might be just too much moisture and that's where you have a lot of you know fungal infections and uh, different type of diseases going on inside so uh, so I'm just gonna take it out here guys we're gonna look at the root system uh, you know see how it goes as you can see uh, as you can see the leaves are very nice uh, and stiff they're not soft maybe this one a little bit here but it still you know looks pretty good uh, so here guys look at this it's just very nice and healthy orchid I can't believe it was on sale you know obviously it has no flowers but I got no problem uh, you know taking care of it and you know get my blooms going um, the flower stem is pretty much dried out here so we're just gonna have to cut it off and i was looking here uh, usually the flower uh, stem or whatever stick whatever you call those things it usually comes out here on the side uh, under the second leaf okay i believe it's second leaf and here i just did not see anything so but not a big problem we're just gonna you know break it down <clears throat> actually gives you more you know satisfaction when you actually you know not really rescue it but you know take care of it yourself and I don't even know what color it is I don't know what color it is so it's gonna be pretty cool surprise <clears throat> once it blooms so as you can guys see here it's just packed with the peat just gonna be very careful here not trying to damage any roots yeah I mean the roots are beautiful guys look at this I mean I don't see any pro I don't even see uh, maybe here yeah there's some there's some dry and rotten roots inside but on the outside you know they're perfectly fine and I'm just gonna stop talking here try to clean it as much as possible Gotta get the better camera with the wider view so it's easier. But hopefully that <clears throat> that's enough for now. You know what? Let me just take the let me just take the stick here, support stick here. Oh I feel like Pretty cool bamboo stick actually. I'll keep it for for the future. Yeah, just just a lot of moss. Looks like uh and as you can guys see here. Alright, now uh, this is not good, you know. Obviously those outside kind of survived and they were growing very nicely, but on the inside you know if you would just keep it if you would just purchase it and put it in your kitchen or you know even put it outside and if you would just you know wouldn't control the moisture properly the system would just the problem would just get bigger and bigger and eventually would uh, cause a lot of problems for your plants
All right, I gotta be careful here. I don't wanna pull on any, you know, roots. But look at this. Just zoom in. Just pieces of roots. The outside. See, yeah, this is not good. You know, this is just the beginning of a problem where you see a black, just turning it black. And actually, peat moss. You know, when it when it breaks down, I think it makes it more acidic. And I don't think orchids. You know, I think they like acidity, but not that much, and that just can not make them happy. And actually, we're gonna what we're gonna do with this one? I'm not gonna replant it. Look at this. <laughs> That's a lot of peat, guys. That's a lot of peat here. So this is what we're working in, and I have a little pot over here with some uh, Luke water, and I'm just gonna rinse it off. We're just gonna take a closer look on the root system, uh, see if there's anything we can trim. We have to trim anything that or you know looks like it's have some type of disease i would like to just cut it off right now uh yeah but these mi these middle ones you know definitely you see just right inside that's where all the moisture was accumulated it was just causing a lot of problems and the outside were perfect so when you look at it in the store when you pull it out and in the plastic pot you know it looks beautiful it looks healthy right but you know this is probably a few weeks away from much bigger problems. All right, let me just get some water here, guys. <clears throat> All right, I just got some water here, guys, and I'm just gonna just gonna go ahead and dip it. Like there's a few more things around it. Let me give you a closer look here, guys. There you go, right there. You see that rotting starting right there? That's the beginning of a big problem, guys. So just to keep an eye on the root system guys we, we I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pot this in any type of medium I'm just gonna leave it inside the water and I forgot the name of this this technique of just you know growing your orchids in the water but it's definitely working for a lot of people you know let me just get the clippers and we're just gonna <clears throat> Just gonna look for any anything that is very soft and weak and in this case this orchid has a lot of different roots healthy ones so I don't I feel comfortable just taking anything away that looks black uh, like this one right here let me show you yeah I'm just gonna leave them here because since the roots are not in a bad shape it's just the core the end of the stem I guess whatever you I'm sure there's a name for it looks like it started running here but everything is pretty pretty much hard which is a good sign and here what I'm gonna do guys I'm just gonna use hydrogen peroxide and I know some people dilute it I tried it before nothing really happened I just you know I bought this bottle right here and I'm just gonna spray on the roots
Alright guys, this is it. Uh, we got it nicely cleaned up. <sighs> Just gonna keep an eye on the roots. Uh, maybe every week or so I'm gonna check it, see if there's anything, uh, all the roots that are improving and I'm gonna keep an eye on the roots that are actually doing worse. And I'm gonna have to, you know, cut them off if I have to. I, I took the spike off right here at the base of the plant. And you know, let's see, let's keep in, uh, keep an eye on it and I'm gonna definitely update you on the progress. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Till next time, bye bye.